Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, I have an out-of-state buyer who asked me to gather some information on a beautiful community in Bernie, Texas. That community is called Regent Park. I wanted to do a model home tour of the community, but they were closed today. So the next best thing is to do a community ride-along tour. I don't have my motorcycle with me today, so we're gonna use my truck and let's see how that turns out. So let's go for a ride, a realtor truck ride. All right, we're gonna con start our tour of Regent Park uh, on Access Road. So we're getting ready to turn into the community. We are just barely south of uh, the main part of Bernie. So uh, there's our first sign for Regent Park. We do have a couple of builders building in there to include Highland, Guillen, and Kinder Homes. This is a beautiful community. There's the fancy entrance to Regent Park. This community has been here for about four years now. Um, MI and Chessmar built in here before and now is getting ready to expand to include Highland Homes, Kindred, uh, Kinder, and uh, Guillen. And there's another home in here that I'm not real familiar with, but we'll drive by the models. But you see, we do have a beautiful entrance area, just kind of a little one lane, some nice oak trees. We're about to turn into where they have the model home section. So let's do a little drive by. I wanted to do a video of the at least two of the model homes today. However, the Highland home, which is the big one in white to our right, they are not ready to be opened yet. So then I went into Kindred Homes and because of what's going on in our housing market right now, a lot of the builders have a freeze or a limitation on what they can sell. Kindred and Ginn, I believe, have a freeze right now for the next month or so where so they're not allowed to sell any homes. This is the Ginn model home. So because of the freeze, there's no sales reps in there. So that's kind of frustrating for me doing what I want to do. But I did talk to Debbie Germany. She's the sales rep for uh, Highland. And they do have some inventory homes that are currently being built on the 70 foot lot uh, lots that they have here. Um, price range for what they're doing right now as of mid-May 2020-21 is going to be in the low to mid 600s uh, and some high 600s. I saw one of them on there was, like, was close to seven. But because those are inventory homes, that is the final price. There is no going to the design center and doing a bunch of upgrades and now you've added another $40,000 uh, to the price tag. Right now they're just doing those inventory homes. Hopefully things slow down a little bit and they can start doing what we call build from dirt. As you can see to our right, let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit, um, they are clearing out new sections and they're going to be building back there eventually we haven't gotten there yet but hopefully soon as in uh, in the next six months hopefully we get find out that they're gonna really be expanding Regent Park let me get up here and turn around because there's not much to see this direction right now but I do want to take you back in the community and kind of show you what the current houses look like we can see we're gonna have some nice views back here. I need to straighten you up a little bit. I wonder if I can get no, I think they got this all blocked off still, but let me do a swing by. And the reason I want to go by here is because this is gonna be a really beautiful amenity center that they're getting ready to open up here pretty soon. That's what this green rooftop building is, is the amenity center. And it's going to have a beautiful pool and a few more things in it. So 
Looks like it says coming soon. Let me swing the camera around. There it is to our right. Yeah, it's going to be a large pool in there. All right, now we're going to head back into the main community section. Now, they do have one inventory home left that's on a 65-foot lot. She didn't have the pricing for that of it readily available. If anyone's interested in that, give me a call, and I can find out about that one last 65-foot lot inventory home that they've got going up. They will be expanding. They're not sold out, and they're not going to be sold out for a while. It's just they're limited on what they can sell right now just because the builders have not been able to keep up with the demand. So they're limiting the new starts or the build from dirt uh, homes until things kind of slow down and lumber prices kind of get back to earth right now too because they've been nuts and builders are a little hesitant right now to start build from dirt projects. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the right, and I'm going to show you what's currently being built right now. Um, that's, I believe, going to be a Kindred home, just because it's got a zip system on there, and I know Kindred Homes does the zip. But we can see some homes getting built. This, I'm about to turn here and show you right in front of us. That is a Highland home that's been sold. However, right next to it is another Highland home that is available. I think this is the 165 foot lot that is still available. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is it. But anyways, let's straighten the camera out and let's kind of give a tour of what this section looks like. These look like they're 65 foot lots. So yeah, I think that's it. And we'll go around and I'll show you what these 70 foot lots look like. Although some of these homes look like they are on 70 foot lots. Because those are really wide homes. Now, there are some beautiful homes in this community. There's the back side of the amenity center. But I'm gonna go ahead and just turn around. And the access for this community is really nice as far as just down the street from Main Street in Bernie is and uh, if you haven't seen my realtor rides tour of downtown Bernie check it out um, it's a little more traffic than I was hoping to be but uh, it's beautiful but there are a lot of YouTube videos out there especially t during Christmas time of just how really awesome this area is squeeze through this construction there is that inventory home as we drive by it that Highland Homes is building right now just in framing and there's the Highland Homes that's been sold that's in framing All right, let's head over to the section that's been completed to show you kind of what this neighborhood looks like after completion. And going back into this uh, section, I think there's a lot of 70 foot lots and some 65 foot lots. Let's just do a drive by of this. some beautiful homes here oh and another advantage of this neighborhood we are kind of right off i-10 so it does give you really quick access to getting on to i-10 to head down toward 1604 so you can probably be down there in what about 10 to 15 minutes if that 
especially as they continue on the improvement process of I-10. But that opens up things like uh, world-class shopping at the La Quintera high-end shopping area. That's where you're going to have the Louis Vuitton store, Neiman Marcus, and all those other fancy-dancy stores. That's all right down the road, probably 10, maybe 15 minutes from here. Now, you're also going to have shopping at the rim to include, like, the movie theaters, grocery stores. All that stuff is right here. And Bernie is such a beautiful Texas Hill Country town. But you're not so far out of world-class shopping. It's kind of the best of both worlds. So, yes, as you're driving down I-10, you'll get into what I call the real money area of this whole region. It's a section called the Dominion. Now that's where you start getting into the five to $20 million homes because, wow, there are some shockers up there. Um, that's where George Strait, I believe he sold his house there now, but a lot of, a lot of very, uh, very successful people live in the Dominion. And a lot of success, re regular successful people live up here. Bernie is definitely becoming the new money area because people are trying to get a little more out of the hustle and bustle of what comes with San Antonio and they love having access to it but not necessarily living in it. Let's see, there's some new homes getting built in this part. beautiful oak trees in this neighborhood not as many oak trees as I was, would like to see but there are still some beautiful oak trees I hope that my camera work works okay not easy doing this while driving a truck but hopefully it kind of gives you an idea and a feel for the neighborhood the houses aren't stacked right on top of each other someone uh, had a, we had some storms come through last night so there was some reports of small hail but not so bad so that's why you saw someone with blankets on top of their car we don't really get tornadoes here and if, if they do we do have them they're very very small and so very very rare but this time of year we do have some good storms roll through the area and sometimes they have hail storms um, that does happen. It's not like the entire area gets covered in hail. It's just small pockets. And they're not like destroying the whole house and stuff. These, I think, the hailstorm that came through, reports of hail were only like nickel size. So not too bad. And I think it usually fizzles out a lot. But look at that house in front of us. That is beautiful. But yeah, overall, my impression of this community is it's gorgeous. It's a really beautiful, regular community with giant homes. Um, all the homes that right now Highland has for sale are going to be over 3,000 square feet and up. So you're getting really big houses in a really nice neighborhood right down the road from downtown Bernie. and get all the advantages that Bernie has to it and all the charm but still keeping access to, like I said, the La Quintera. I mean, shoot, while you're driving down the road, I-10, you do have the Land Rover dealership, the Tesla dealership. We have enough Ferrari dealership here. So that kind of tells you where, what type of money uh, is in this area. So hopefully this, t this tour didn't bore you too much. Um, there are some really nice communities in this area. I am looking forward to seeing some more communities come up, come out, and uh, hopefully these builders can get the green light to start selling at the regular pace again. Because right now it's really frustrating as 
our demand is so very high everybody's wanting to move here and that's definitely bumped our prices up more than they used to be and uh, limited our supply and now that the builders have pulled back on how many homes they're authorized to even start that's made it even more difficult so hopefully things get back to normal a little bit relatively normal by this summer so hope you found this video truck driving along tour of what Regent Park just south of Bernie looks like we're coming back up onto I-10 in front of us but it's a really nice community I would love to live here if I had the means to but I am not there yet I am still working on that but building my business one day at a time is what's doing it yeah there's a Land Rover dealership right across the street from us And now we're back to the access road to I-10. And I mentioned the construction. There's, there's the construction going on. But once that construction is cleared up, it literally be you go through this light and then you get on the highway and it's a straight shot down to um, all the shopping you'd want to be near. And wonderful restaurants and all that good stuff is all right there. I mean, lots of stuff going on. Oh, didn't realize the camera turned on me. But if you got any questions, uh, no sense me watch doing a video of me sitting in traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I am happy to help. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. Like, subscribe, and keep sharing and all that other good stuff. All right, take care now. Bye.